Vancouver International Airport, or YVR, is the second largest and busiest airport in Canada. For 12 years in a row, YVR won the Skytrax Award as the best airport in North America. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. So, what makes YVR the best airport in North America for 12 years in a row? The facilities, Musqueam art, a sense of place, and customer service is definitely a huge factor. There's one group in particular that makes customer service at YVR excellent. That is, green coats. Green coats are a group of 328 retired seniors who volunteer their time to go above and beyond in helping passengers and visitors at the airport. They are called green coats because of the green vests or jackets they wear as uniform. Although YVR is not a huge airport compared with major airports around the world, it certainly gets very busy as a connection hub and gateway between Asia and North America. With more than 60,000 passengers in and out of the airport on a daily basis, not to mention meters and greeters, these passengers and visitors certainly will have questions or problems as they navigate the terminal. This is when the green coats come in. The green coat program at YVR is very unique among Canadian airports. It was established more than 30 years ago. Volunteers are recruited to work at least one shift a week and each shift is four hours. They are assigned to key information desks located in the terminal. They answer inquiries, give directions, and try to solve passengers' problems. These green coats are kind without asking for anything in return. Oftentimes, they really go out of their way to help passengers. So today, I'm going to share with you one particular story that shows how green coats at YVR go above and beyond when it comes to customer service. About two years ago during COVID, one young man who was just released from jail was dropped off on the curbside of the terminal by a sheriff. The sheriff handed the young man a plane ticket and told him that he had to get on a flight returning to his home in Saskatchewan or he would go back to jail. The young man tried to check in at the Air Canada counter, but he was declined because he couldn't show proof of his COVID vaccination. Proof of vaccination was required for anyone wanting to get on a plane in Canada during COVID. The young man got very anxious and upset, so he went to an information desk. The green coat volunteer working at the information desk was a lady in her 80s. The young man was shaking and almost crying. The lady comforted him and led him back to the Air Canada counter where she confronted the agent saying that everyone in prison had been vaccinated and airlines knew that. Why can't you just let him through? The volunteer asked. Just give him a break. Eventually, Air Canada agreed to let the young man check in, but they charged him $50 for his overweight bag. Of course, the young man didn't have any money on him because he had just gone out of jail. The Green Coat volunteer offered right away to pay the $50 fee. On top of that, she also bought the young man a new carry-on bag as his was torn. Mind you, all of this money was out of her own pocket. Before the young man boarded the plane, he asked the green coat if he could borrow her cell and call his mom in Saskatchewan to let her know that he was coming home. 
The Green Co. volunteer let him use her phone. Then she walked him all the way to the gate to make sure he could get on the flight. Since the young man had called on the Green Co. volunteer's cell, his mom's phone number stayed on her cell phone. So later in the evening, the Green Co. volunteer called the young man's mother to make sure that he had arrived safely home and reunited with his mother. How's that for above and beyond customer service? There are lots of stories just like this one that happen on a daily basis at Vancouver International Airport. This is why YVR is well known for its excellent customer service. Next time you are at YVR, look for a green coat if you need help. I'm sure you'll receive the best customer service. <laughs>